So, how's it going guys? Shade here and today I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, RP Ladies because um, today there was some leaks about the, the possible new mini box and we just found out we're gonna get uh, at least we have almost 100% certainty that we're gonna get some RP Lady support uh, and some people that uh, I've seen on YouTube are saying that it's gonna be uh, not that good of a box, but I think they're underestimating a bit the power of RP ladies. You know, uh, I think the RP ladies are a actually a pretty strong uh, archetype, so yeah, uh, let's just get into it. Um, obviously, before uh, we go into it, as you can see here, uh, it's not 100% uh, true that this box is coming. Uh, it uh, but the guy who leaked it also leaked an, an antinomic theory. So, uh, yeah, I almost 100% certainly know that th this is what we're getting by that. Okay? Um, if there's uh, at least one card here that is wrong, I'm betting uh, a Lightning Vortex because this is just too good of a card to be not even an ultra rare on a mini box. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it. Let's talk a little bit, a little bit about the archetype. So uh, let's go into the RP ladies uh, first. Uh, first, the synchro, which is the UR uh, cyber slash RP lady. So you can synchro summon this uh, using uh, uh, treating uh, RP lady you control as a tuner. So you only need two level four monsters and one of them an RP lady, um, uh, an RP monster on the field. I mean, um, and it's all also gen generic, so that's really good. Um, this card name becomes RP Lady while on the field, normal. And when a spell slash trap card effect is activated, you target one monster your opponent controls or a RP you control and return it to the hand. And, and that's once per turn, okay? Not once per card, once per turn. Or once per turn, okay? But it, it is really, really good besides that, okay? Um, then we have. Our uh, Mega Phantom Beast Dracosec, which once per turn detach one material from this card, special summon two Mega Phantom Beast tokens. Uh, while you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, tribute one Mega Phantom Beast monster, then target one card on the field, destroy it, and this card can attack during that turn. So, uh, I'm talking about this card because I think it can be played in RPs. I don't know if it will be played in RPs, but it can play, be played in RPs because Chandler can special summon. RP's pet dragon with it, and if it special summons RP's pet dragon, this will become level 7, 2, and can exceed for the Dracosec, detach to get the two tokens, and it has protection so they have to take care of both tokens, and then the Dracosec so that they can go and kill you, which is gonna be extremely difficult, I don't know how they might, might do it. Uh, but yeah, this might be a good card. I don't know if it will be played, but it might be a good card. Uh, Blade Armor Ninja, uh, not not don't, don't think can be played. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's two warrior uh, level four warrior type. Okay, uh, never mind. So uh, never mind it. Uh, Daigus to Emerald will be played. At, uh, I think at one because RP ladies will run out of cards pretty easily. So if they can't finish the turn. The um, duel quickly enough. Daigusu will be really good to get some of them, their cards back, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's a, it's a really good card, you know. Just detach, shuffle three monsters, draw one, or start summon a non-effect. Even though the non-effect monster will not be used that much, uh, but yeah, a really good card for the deck. Uh, trip uh, RP Channeler will be play the three. Just, <laughs> it, there's no way we're not doing this. Uh, it discards an RP card, special summon one RP monster from your deck in face of defense position, and accept RP channeler. And you can only use this effect once per turn, and once again, while you control a dragon type, becomes level 7. Okay, so this is your main summoner, you know, to get either perfumer or artist or even dancer on field. But, um, yeah, um, this card is going to be really good, uh, the main card you want to have, you want to max this out on your deck. Uh, another good opener will be a uh, Perfumer, because it adds one spell slash trap from your deck uh, to your hand, that specific 
automatically lists RPLA scissors. But if you control level 5 or higher RP monster when you activate it, you can add another one. So it can search for two if you control something like RP Lady Sister or uh, Cyber Slash RP Lady. Uh, but yeah, the, the searching effect is really good because you can just add Elegant Egotists and use it. So you can go one using only this, you, with only this card in your hand, you can use it to go into your Slash. But I, I still think the Channeler is the best one to uh, open. Even though this is also decent, you know. Uh, we have uh, Harpist, which is not that good, but it can be really good. So on summon, target one be winged beast monster you control, except this card. And one face of monster your opponent controls, bounce them to the hand. And during the end phase, if this card is in your gra uh, the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, add one level 4 winged beast type monster. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the first effect is probably not going to be used that much, but the, the the second effect is going to be really, really good um, for searching. Uh, if you don't open well, RPs in your hand might be good, or just to discard with the channeler, and on the end phase you can search, you know, uh, might be good. Uh, and um, Spiritual Wind Art Miyabi is going to be the last SR. I think this is going to be really good for the deck because you just tribute one win monster which is almost every main uh, main deck monster we have plus slash draco sack die gusto you know uh, especially this card is really good with die uh, draco sack because you can tribute one of the tokens to activate its effect you know so that this is really good because you tribute a wind and you place a card that was on the field uh, that your opponent controlled on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this is going to be a really good uh, card to get uh, for your deck. Um, especially since it's in this mini box too with um, this archetype. Playing them together um, and building a more optimal RP Lady deck will be easier. Um, then let's look at some R's. Um, is there a sign? This card is really, in, uh, really good. Because it can recycle an egotist from your graveyard or just search from one on your deck. Um, and in the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there from the hand or field this turn, add up to three RP cards with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. Uh, keep in mind that you can't use both effects in the same turn, uh, but it, it's still a really awesome card, you know. Uh, and you want, you probably will play this at three in your deck. Um, uh, let's see, other cards we have, uh, Cyber RP Lady, but this is useless, useless you know. Um, it's just a, a, a vanilla that has an effect to change its name, so not that good. Uh, elegance, I don't think this will be played at all. Uh, the destruction effect, effect is kinda interesting, like the Cyber Dragon Trap, you know that when it's destroyed by a card effect or by a harpy card or an opponent's card effect uh, add one RP monster from the deck to your end. Okay, so it it could be good just a end fixer, you know uh, sometimes to search for what you need since uh, if you play the RP's hunting ground skill the getting uh, destroying uh, back row cards just it's uh, just so easy for this deck, so uh, might be able to add some consistency if you open like a dancer. Or a, don't know. I, I don't think this card will be played at all. And yeah, I think that's it for the RP Lady support. Nothing down here. Uh, so yeah, let's get into dueling book. I'm gonna show how uh, I think the deck will be played. Um, this is more, in my opinion, like a religious uh, offensive kind of deck, you know, just like trying OTK you, getting rid of all the back row you have with hunting ground, or just turn one, like putting like a, a gen, uh, one, one negation and try and hope uh, you hold, hold it, like uh, Abyss Dweller or Roach. Depend, depending on what we have, 
uh, to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, that, it, playing aggressively is going to be really easy for this deck because of the triple channeler, triple perfumer. Uh, you know, these cards will give consistency because uh, either one of these is a, a great starter. And then, of course, being able to, besides all of this, having six egotists, um, aka we have nine ways to get egotists, kind of 12 because Chandler uh, will discard to special summon a monster. And if you get perfumer, it will search for an egotist. So you have 12 cards uh, that will get egotists or are egotists themselves. Uh, the dancer good to return to the hand and normal summon another monster or even itself to just use hunting ground to destroy back row um, or even car your cards if you know you already have some egotists you don't need the steric sign you just put in the field you use uh, your monster it will pop this and on the end phase you get a triple triple search you know so that will be really good to to do. Uh, going first. Uh, RP is just like a, a slow, you know, end fixer for going first. You can just like set this and on the end, uh, end phase this, uh, this card is sent to the graveyard. Just search or you can just like use this plus the egotist to make a axis and then um, use the axis, you know, as the protection and when this card is gonna be detached at the end phase you just search, so uh, it can be good but not play it too much. RP Lady 1 is gonna be our only like target for Egotist, so that's why we're playing double of it, even though it only like gains uh, attack um, and all other wind monsters on the field will gain attack too. Uh, Feather Rest is good for um, recycling uh, cards because uh, as you notice we're using Egotist and being able to recycle Egotist a lot, but we only have two targets for it, so Feather Rest will be a really good card, especially since you're able to um, draw, you know, while doing it, so that's really good. Um, and that's uh, another card for uh, another card that you can use in that uh, time uh, when uh, you don't have access to the Feather Rest, can be good, uh, Die Gusto Emerald. Uh, because it does the same thing, except that if you control a level 5 or higher RP monster, this one will give you an another draw. But, you know, it's basically the same thing, except that this is summoned with monster and this is just activated from your hand. But if you don't have this, uh, this is your best way to go into it, you know. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the rest of the deck is just easily. Don't play the RP hunting round. This is just for the skill, okay? Since I'm dueling book, there's no skills. I have to put it in the main deck. Uh, then triple Cyber Slash RP because it's uh, one of the best monsters and you're gonna want to summon it uh, a lot of times. Uh, Abyss Dweller more, is more like to um, just like help like turn one if you're playing against something like Blue Eyes or so, uh, something like that. This is gonna be really good. Roach will be good even on the mirror match so they don't go into Cyber Slash. Uh, but Roach itself will not do anything at all. Uh, it, it will need some help, but uh, yeah. Um, it, it can be good for your deck. Um, and Malevolent Sin, just a generic level 4, uh, which is uh, pretty strong. So um, another good thing about this deck is that besides Dancer, it's all from mini box, you know? Uh, one mini box for the Channeler, Perfumer, Harpist, um, the Sign, you know? Uh, the dancer is from a main box, which is the bad part, but there's a, a way to play this without dancer that I'll show later. Um, but it will be uh, more uh, slow, you know, more... Uh, uh, we'll have some traps, you know, into the deck to uh, uh, take care of that. Um, you know, just uh, a really good deck. Uh, spam the field, get some monsters, OTK, uh, protect for the turn and then finish next turn. Gonna be a really good deck. Uh, for free to play players, uh, maybe this is the best way. I took off Feather Rest and we only gonna use Daigusto Emerald for um, the shuffling to get uh, recycling, you know. Um, but that's okay because uh, in this version I'm using RP's Pet Dragon so you can go into Draco Sack with Channeler. 
uh, triple from perfumer so we can get more star starters uh, just like the other build uh, the only thing is that we're playing the triple miyabi which um, is really good because uh, this is going to be um, good for you to held on uh, even without like going for uh, one of these excesses if you just get one or, or even two monsters depending on how many of these you have like for example just setting an arpist and um, putting this on the f field behind you know just deactivate uh, they go into your their place, you just disrupt them if this and on the end phase you search so you can go into your combos so uh, there's uh, this is a really good um, node deck and I'm just gonna get here uh, I'm gonna showcase with some combos you know so let's just get uh, no let's just leave it like this actually we got uh, what I wanted to showcase first, which is just the OTK with only Chandler plus a random RP for uh, this card. So this game get, comes from the, the skill. You normal summon this, this activates, take care of one card on the field. Activate this, discard any card, I'm discarding an RP just because it came on my end, but you don't need it. Uh, special summon this. Hunting round effect activates and this activates two. So now you took care of two traps and you get Egotist to your hand. You can use both for slash and I think that this, the, uh, because of the name being RP Lady, uh, it, it will activate to like the other cards. Yeah, it, might, it should activate too. And since we activate an effect of a spell, you can activate actually this. To bounce a monster, uh, even if it didn't activate, we have Egotist and we're gonna activate. Uh, and so, when we do so, this can chain, you know. So, either way, it will activate, uh, but only once per turn. Uh, Search summon RP Lady 1 and this will activate for a fourth time. So, we possibly dealt with four back row cards, we bounce one monster, and we have game with just one monster and a random card. Uh, let's reset deck and gonna show why uh, the OTK with this plus an extender. Um, let's put uh, another random monster right here, an extender. So, for example, Egotist. So this time we have two. Uh, we have an Egotist plus the Chandler and a random discard. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the the hunting ground. Okay, there we go. So normal summon, activates, declare, discard, um, then comes perfumer, this will activate, this will activate too, let me just search first, get, no, oh, there it goes, just lagging a bit, there goes second egotist and then it goes second pop, first egotist, Get RP Lady 1, activate again, pop a third card, um, and actually no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just, yeah, I'm gonna use this two for RP, pop one, this can chain, but if it doesn't disactivate, I shall summon the second RP Lady one. And now you can, since you already use this effect to bounce right here, you can overlay, for example, into Malevolent and declare and bounce another card. So we bounce two monsters, got rid of four spell and trap monsters, so that's why this deck is so good. Okay, and maybe let's just showcase going first. Maybe... Ooh, I'm gonna show this, for example. So let's show how uh, what to do when uh, you open sign, plus a way to get any level for XCs slash R uh, cyber slash RP uh, in your first turn. So you can activate this, don't search, Normal summon, 
this will activate, destroy this, then this activates, you know, search for an egotist. When I activate this, special summon, where is it, lady? No, and no, no, depending on what you're facing, you can go for dweller, you can go for roach, okay, never mind. End phase, this activates and you're gonna search for three RP lady uh, monster, uh, monster slash cards. So I'm gonna add feather rest, I can add like the Chandler, I can add, for example, an Arpist. So ne then when we do our Chandler combo next turn, we still have uh, end phase Arpists to, um, <coughs> to like get the gathers even more searches uh for ne the 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 next next turn you know so yeah that's the combo you know um uh, never mind this just so you can know what you you could even make this but uh i don't really know what was the point of this just so that you can bounce maybe uh but yeah don't know uh but yeah this is basically it. Um, I think that's all the combos. Yeah. And keep in mind that Arpists will be activated the turn you detach uh, for its effect, uh, for effect of AXEs, uh, because it, if this card is in the graveyard, because it was sent there this turn, okay? It doesn't mean that if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, like the Thunder Dragons lose their effect. No, this one, just because it's in the graveyard, will activate, and that's uh, really good about their text, but yeah. Um, I think that's it about um, this deck. Um, it's really, really uh, just an awesome deck to, uh, to, to play. Uh, it's really, really good how you uh, just have so many types of plays, so many searching, uh, you know, uh, I, I feel like this is going to be really, really strong because of how consistent it is on making the plays, you know, uh, and as built-in um, destruction, you know, for um, an, uh, uh, spell and trap. If you feel like this is not working, you can switch this skill uh, for... Um, the the one where if you have four RP RP cards in your graveyard you can add to your end uh, RP's feather duster you know you can use that too but uh, I feel like this is going to be the best because you can you can use it to pop your signs for example to get more searches you know but yeah if you can uh, maybe it will work better on the free to play version you know uh, the one with uh, uh, the Draco sack and everything uh, I think we will work better on it but yeah uh this one will work amazingly too uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if so drop a like uh comment down below if you want me to do this more times i think i'm gonna do this every time now that they leak something and i think that there's uh, a good art type in the box i'm gonna like start talking a bit a little bit about it no but yeah um <laughs> That's about it. Uh, oh, and I forgot, uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any of my content. I'm trying to grow uh, my my channel. Uh, I was, I'm was i doing it mostly for fun, but I, I would like to see uh, if I can uh, make my uh, my channel go bigger and make this like um, uh, more, you know, uh, have more time to dedicate to, to you, to these videos, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.